How about ya? Anaheim 1, 250 Main, coming at ya. Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. This is one of the most prestigious stops of the Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship season. A win here is a highlight to any rider's year. The engines have fired and the racers are ready to kick the bikes into gear. It's main event time in Southern California. You can hear the cheer. He is the crowd favorite. Will that be too much pressure or the motivation for him to get the win? Right you are, Ralph. And he's getting a good look at where he wants to start on the gate. I think he's going to start next to the box. Yep, he sure is. The 32nd board is up. Keep an eye on the gate. It's about to drop. Thank you, Ralph. It looks like we're about to go racing. Track sure is muddy out there, and uh, we're going to be having a special treat for you with the drone flying behind our Tally tonight, the whole race. Oh, and he's off to a little bit of a slow start there. Bringing up the back. It looks like he's going to try to cut to the inside. There's a carnage there before the first turn. Oh, yeah, and he's back in about 10th or 11th place there. But he's always good on the jumps, and he's got to tell you what, he's got that Suzuki hooked up, and he's already out into the lead. Unbelievable the way this kid rides. I'll tell you what, I saw him out last night at the bar with a couple of girls till about 3 o'clock in the morning. He said he would be ready, and it looks like he sure is. I know he won his heat race as they headed to the whoop section on the first lap. Pulled out a pretty good lead. He switched teams from Husqvarna to Suzuki, and he sure is looking good. Oh, he almost then goes it right there, but he gets it right back into control, and man, he's flying around this track. Really a tough track to get the bike set up for. We had so much mud in the qualifying and the heat races. It seems to be drying out a little bit, but it sure is slippery out there. As he's making the way around towards the end of the first lap here, Connor Peterson's in second. He's a Cinderella boy. Not a lot of talent, but boy, he's got a lot of grit, that kid. Always riding hard, always riding fast. Now he's making it look easy as he completes the first lap. Not a lot of competition for Mustawi. He likes the 250s. He doesn't want to move up to the 450 class. He says it's too much BS, too much corporate BS up in that class for him. He likes the 250s. He can do what he wants. And he's sure proving it. Proving it tonight. I'll tell you, Ralph, this boy. There's no stopping him. I can't believe they actually got a drone that can actually keep up with them. They're heading around the back section. This is the fastest section. Now, this has been giving them a little trouble all night long. And there it is. More trouble tonight. He's off the track. He's having a real hard time back there. It's real slippery and he goes down. Oh, he's gone down. Oh, he's able to stay in the lead. Connor Peterson not able to capitalize. But there he goes. And Peterson is giving him all kinds of trouble. And Mustali is falling back to second. Well, that's certainly a tragic turn of events from Stowey. Oh, he hits the hay bales. Peterson is pulling out a little bit of a lead. Stowey's trying to get his rhythm back here as they approach the start finish line. He's right on top of Peterson. He's going around the outside. He's going to make it stick. Into the whoop section. Peterson fights back. Boy, I'll tell you, this guy's got some balls. But Stowey is right on him over the finish line jump. Coming around to the start straight. And Stowey is full gas, And there he goes. He makes his move and down the, down the start finish straight. Unbelievable, this kid. Absolutely unbelievable. But Peterson's fighting back as they hit the jumps in the rhythm section. Mustawi out jumps him and he's back into the lead. Don't ever count this kid out. I'll tell you what. He can crash. He can go into the bleachers. Heck, he can even stop for a break to go to the bathroom. But he's never going to give up. He's going to get right back out there. It doesn't matter what condition the bike is in. And I'll tell you what. He's proven it here tonight. His main sponsor, a service. They make plastic for the bikes, the fenders. Very popular company. He's got a pro grip uniform on, and he sure is looking good with that just one helmet, 100% goggles on there, CD boots. The boy is really getting back into his rhythm. We got two laps to go, and the track is just chewed up. It's hard to get a drive out of these corners to double up on the jumps, but he's making it look easy. He's a little bit out of control, but it doesn't matter because he's in the lead. You can hear the crowd getting behind him. 
They love him out here in California. He rode the 250 East last year, but this year he moved to California. He said he wants to be around the California girls and the beaches. He's a little bit of a surfer and he likes to race the mountain bike. Over the start finish line he goes, and here we are into the last lap. Unbelievable. He's got that Suzuki working about as good as you can hope for in these conditions, and he is just flying. Hoping to get some good jumps here. Yeah, he's able to triple that one. That's going to help him out. Really making a good showing here tonight. I know he'll be in the pits later. Talking to the girls, signing autographs for the kids. He's just one of a kind. We're heading into the back section of the course now. This is a rough little whoop section. And then we hit the fast straightaway. Oh, it's slipping and sliding all over there. He's got a five second lead. And I'll tell you what, he's not looking back. Aaron Plessinger moves up in a second, but he's off the track. Can he hold it together? He's still off the track. Unbelievable. This is a tough section to come back from, but he's able to get it together for the big jump. Incredible. He hangs on. Now we're into the rhythm section. This is the last tough part of the track. He's been handling it well all night. He looks good. And he's going to come up. So the start finish here, one more set of whoops, one more turn, and boy, I'll tell you, Cinderella boy, tears in his eyes, he really is something. And here he goes over the finish line jump, and he throws a humongous clicker for the crowd. Arnie Mistelli ends up your winner. That was an incredible race, proving once again just how competitive the 250 class is. Let's take a look at the final results. The pace of that race was absolutely crazy. They definitely gave it their all. Right you are, Ralphie boy. I'll tell you what, he looks good up on that podium, and you know the beers are going to be flowing tonight. The results speak for themselves. Arnie Mistelli goes home your winner. We'll see you next time.